Okay, you guys. So, the catch is, I basically, if you was on the live, I had to come back and do it through the laptop because my phone died. And I told y'all, the enemy be really, really, really hating. But this message is so big, it's enormous, and God has really been wanting to get this out. And so, I had to hit pause on reality check of what I wanted to do because I felt this was more important. And so, I'm going to go ahead and read from where he had me read from. Which is a note he had me make. This was made September 24th, 2023. That's a big deal. Because God will talk to you from a message that was written from that far ago in your today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So you girl full of like God's love. And that's just what is going through the phone. I hope you catch this wave. Love, 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 love. You need love. You need love. Hear me now. Because you need it. Hear me now. You need love. Because you need it. You need him. Hear me now. You need him. Hear me now. You need him. Hear me now. Okay. We be needing love. Because I remember that was that one time when I was. You know. So look, it's called Brand New Thinking Unleashed. Life with potential of a fair trial attached with exponential growth is happening. As you detach from the pains of your upbringing and realizing the supernatural strength that has been released to break you free from those debts, the enemy served you. In past trials. And how do you do that? With Jubilee. Through Jubilee. Jubilee is just the freedom of God. Okay? It says really componing the exponential promotion of transformation. Hashtag agree to be free. Hashtag live fluorescently. <laughs> Hashtag abundantly. Hashtag attached to the king. Hashtag forever redeem. Hashtag the land of the living. Hold on, y'all. I got a boogie in my nose. I shouldn't because God was, he be with your girl. Like, make sure you're checking all of that good stuff. I shouldn't, but if I don't, y'all caught the first lab and y'all realize I'm human if I do. But yeah. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. So he having me read Psalms 115. Not to us, Lord. Not to us, but to your name be the glory. Because of your love and faithfulness, why do the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. I just keep hearing that. Go back and get that live. It was real short, quick, but it's meaningful towards what you're hearing over here. Because we just broke and slapped some snakes, enemies, into the back to the place where they were supposed to be, where God told them to go. And so it's like a boundary. Yeah. But but their idols, let's go here. He does whatever pleases him. Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. But their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak. Eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear. Noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel. Feet but cannot walk. Nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make them will be like them. And I hear statues. Those who make them will be like them. And so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Israel is God's chosen nation. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So when you start living like other than Israel, <laughs> other than chosen, other than what God purposed you to be, you experience situations or circumstances the way that it was not intended for you to experience it. And so that can intend to hurt you, but 
It was never God's initial, it was never God's intention to do so. But see, when you get over there in that field of going towards a way that is not like-minded towards the king, then you start to trust in things that you shouldn't be trusting in because God said, for what are mere, mere humans or mere mortals that you trust in them? For they all go back to the, to the, to the uh, uh, ground and die. For we are but breath. We are but dust. Mm -hmm. It says, all you Israelites trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Wait, he is their help and shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and Okay, your girl just keep reading the same. Maybe we need to hear it more. <laughs> you, he is their help and shield. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Oh, I'm not just reading it like that. It's kind of like poetic. Okay, Lord, I got you. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless his people, Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, small and great alike. May the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth ha he has given us ma to mankind. But the earth he has given to mankind. It is not the dead who praise the Lord. Those who go down to the place of silence, is to, it is we who extol the Lord. Both now forevermore, praise the Lord. Dig this. Did you know God be talking like that? Did you know that God be talking that good knowledge and that good wisdom? That the world be trying to, uh, uh, um, what you call it again, Lord? Plagiarize and act like it's their lingo, but they really got it from the Bible. Or either their language got scattered from trying to build the Tower of Babel. And so it comes off in a different type of way that is not in the word. But no judgment towards your spirit or your soul. But when you actually submit your will to God and you actually get back in the right area where you belong, you start to realize all the stuff that you was hearing from another perspective is a lot more clean, a lot more sane when it comes from God first. So let me catch that again in case you missed that. He said, may the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. This kind of like what they be doing, the twisted logic. And they be trying to say all this stuff from the universe. Be like, oh, you got law of attraction and blah, 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 blah. If you do this this way and you think in an inclined space, everything just flow to you. Hear me though. Who they get that from? They better stop lying on my name. They better stop lying. <laughs> okay. Your girl name is in heaven. Your name is in heaven. So how that came out, I was trying to say. In my mind, I was trying to say, stop, stop, stop playing on my father's top. Stop lying on his name. Hear me now. Acting like they came up with this themselves and serving people a, a, a portion of a truth, but it's with a lie. Then the Lord goes to say, <laughs> hear me now. I love you, God. You are so amazing. He loves you, too. And this is what this video is all about. It's, it's like today he's showing up. Fighting our enemies, healing us, and letting us get the love that we so desire. May you bless, may you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The highest heavens belongs to the Lord, but the earth has given has been given to mankind. The earth is given to mankind, right? Hooey. It is not the dead who praise the Lord. So when people speaking low vibrationally, God is saying they do not praise him. They could still be saying, girl, OMG, OMG, but that N word, da, 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 and no judgment to the fruits of that because God saved me. That's why I'm getting a fair shot to share the experience. So if you on the other side and you still talk like that, I was there. And he saved me too. So it's love over here. But the thing is, it's boundaries and safety and security over here with Jesus being our king. It don't come with all that riffraff that the enemy keep trying to have in the background that's puppet mastering counterfeits. 
that acting like your God and acting like your king. And they ain't none of that. And so they keep showing up with this faulty foundation and telling you one thing at one second. And they love you one time. And then, baby, they flip up. And then they turn the switch. And then now you don't even remember who they was. And it was like, you was just acting like this. But now you acting like this. And do you really love me or what? And then when you get in your emotions and say all this, then they come back like, I was just playing, girl. And like, no, you was just counterfeiting. It's time for me to walk away. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ee, who I vented to? Somebody wanted to vent? You my sister? You might be my brother. You trying to vent? Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Because this is the season your girl is in where she let that thing go. And she fully surrendered to God. And so that looks like me now understanding exactly what I wasn't able to understand then now. The earth was the earth's. <laughs> when you are chosen and you are God's chosen possession, Israel, that means Jesus is dwelling in you. That means that you actually didn't come here to live in this earthly realm. You not you actually extraordinary. You actually y'all hashtag go look out my go check out my sis, uh, pretty boss. Very much so highly intelligent and it expresses the portion of God that she received from a extraordinary supernatural way for you to perceive your gifting in God's identity for your life on like your Christ like identity. But so how I perceive it is. You were actually not supposed to dwell as a mankind because you're supposed to not live in the body. You're supposed to live for the body's alignment. And so when you have a purpose and you're have you have like been called and set apart, predestined and chosen, you actually supposed to operate the way Christ wants you to operate so that you're actually doing he's doing he's performing the task through you as a saving to what needs to be saved towards somebody else's a purpose but the mission is always heaven so in order for us to do that we have to follow the route that God says where he says he is the maker of heaven and earth he is the highest heavens belongs to the Lord but the earth has been given to mankind it has been given to flesh it has been given to us humans who dwell here which means yes we dwell here but he says to be renewed have a renewing of your mind and so even when we didn't know who we was, we was like operating through the earth from mankind. So it's like no type of points held against you because Jesus is our salvation. Hear me now. Save us from the sin. Save us from death. Hear me now. So he rose on Calvary so we can have hope and faith. And those are the attributes of inclining higher away from a low vibrational mindset. And so we have another route in order to live our life. And so we die to our flesh daily and we live a daily life of repentance. And we let Christ live through us. And by doing that, we're able to experience the body's alignment from a perspective of heaven here on earth. And it's just such a great thing. Because now you be seeing all of these people who you kept giving a second chance to. <laughs> Y'all, I'm being my person. I'm being very, I'm very much being myself. <laughs> but I'm giving y'all my nuggets from my life. Where it's be like, you, you basically could have thought at a season in your life you was tripping for so long about so many different folks and it wasn't that you was tripping it was just like you was in sin too so it's like you ain't got no reason to be actually blaming them because you need to be blamed too because you outside of the will of God but it didn't make what you learned outside of the will of God wrong because you had a purpose and your purpose was giving you information that maybe they didn't have or either they need more healing on that you may have um healed from because we are all unified, but yet diverse. So your season of life may have been different from this person's season or this friendship or this experience that you went out and dwelled on and you went too far out there. And then you was looking at some things that you weren't supposed to be seeing. So let me just keep reading. Whoever that's for, that's for. It says, I love the Lord. For he heard my voice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangle me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. Mm -hmm. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unweary or unwary. 
When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul. For the Lord has been good to, good to you. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy don't like me. If y'all could really be understanding, pray for y'all, girl, okay? Thank you, Jesus, that you heal me daily, that you live in me, and I in you. And you tell me in your word. Because you be children of God, you have already overcame them. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is of this world. And it be trying to stop me and make me say, all right, it's time to get off. I was just about to get off, but I perceive another portion of my life where I thought I was ready. This just jump here and we're going to jump. Y'all family. I thought I was ready one this one season of my life when I was coming close to Jesus in my relationship with Christ. And I thought I was ready for a relationship because I had did so much of the self inner work that that from trauma growing up or my upbringing that I thought that I was ready to run off and find the spouse now because it looked like so much clear skies and so much pretty rainbows and all of the other stuff, whatever. And so I tried to run out and grab a hold of a relationship before I realized that I was waiting on the kingdom of God to be ignited, to be born again. I thought that because I had talked about finally what went wrong from parenting growing up and the, the lies that I lived in and just a cursed environment that I was brought up in was enough for God at that point of my life when I was so much younger. You know how the parent, you know how the world be calling it young and dumb. It was given very much so Proverbs and where God says, speak life and not death. And I was leaded, needing a lot more of life. Instead, I went towards the route of death because it was it was towards mankind's, mankind's route. It was towards earth. It was an earthly affection of love that I was trying to pull from. And so that thing had a tendency of radiating bigger than I could control because I'm not Jesus. And so God didn't fully give me the seatbelt to say that Jesus is all the way securing you like you're 100 percent complete. I may have been very much so maybe 55 percent, you know, like when your phone charging, all that good stuff. But I needed to be 100 percent complete in him before I could actually go down a route of looking towards marriage or relationship. Because what I didn't realize is, although I talked and shared those things with God openly and did some trauma healing and counseling, I had to go to counseling. I was in there for a while. And that thing brought up another side of me, having to see that I was so entitled and expecting people or parents to, 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 to give me what I need and give me everything that you're supposed to treat me Why It was a codependency environment from the first place. <laughs> it was a codependency establishment created from the perception or persona that was created from a false reality that I grew up through watching television and all this other stuff that give you a reality saying that this is the way life should be, but they don't supply the Jesus that you need. They supply the picture that you need for your family to treat you right and for everybody to smile and blah, 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 blah. And so once I came over to uh, follow God from that portion, he had me move away from my hometown. And I did, and I moved away from my hometown. Then he had me, this is a part of my season, once I moved from that portion, I had to go to a shelter because when I came into the new town, I was leaving behind jobs. I walked away from career. Y'all catch the other lives, stand alive, because he be having me share all this because it makes sense to somebody out there, right? Mm -hmm. And so I left this career and I left everything. I didn't have no money. I didn't have nothing. And I left a world full of people who didn't help out. And so when I left that world full of people who didn't help out, I left with anger. I left with bitterness. I left with pain. I left with sorrow. And it was a lot of bit of death. <laughs> but see, I didn't know that God can produce life after death. I wasn't looking at me saying that Jesus can rebirth something from my circumstance that looked like death. I didn't encounter it in that way because I was encountering it through flesh. And flesh made me have a legitimate reason to be angry towards people that I thought was supposed to be my God. And I made them that in my mind because I had a bruised ego if the reality that I created for my life wasn't working. So the first time I did that, I walked away and I went and followed God. Actually, he like plucked me up and said, girl, get out of this environment and go over here because I need you over here. So it was like further away from my hometown and I finally stayed. Then he fixed me up and he helped me. He healed me on those areas. Right. But then once I got healed, I tried to run right back towards their area to show them all the great things God had done for me. How naive. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> because they wasn't fully healed. So now they was looking at me. Now I think you're better. Now you think you're better than me. Now you think, but see, it wasn't them. It was just the enemy still speaking from avoided hurt place because the enemy needs somewhere where it is unsustainable or unhealed version of yourself in order to operate from. And so he did that when I went and tried to grab a relationship. <sighs> I really didn't want this to be super duper long, but it is. And that's why you hear me sounding like this. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I ain't got to talk about it, he said. <laughs> but the points is giving so many fat, fat nuggets that you're going to get it once you got it, you got it good. So we're going to take the incline on that and say that I went after what I thought I was ready for as if I created myself. Instead of being patient with God and sitting in the rescue, I went and became the rescue yet again. Okay. Well, it wasn't, they, they didn't ask me to be their rescue. I just went out thinking that let's go show off what God done. But see, if you take the incline, I was actually operating from a side of my purpose that I didn't get to. I didn't know that this girl here today will be on YouTube ministering the way that I'm ministering and God using this vessel in such a way that the rescue speaks through me. So I went towards the wrong direction when God had a place for me to be fruitful and fertile so I could actually water the environment the way that he intended. But see, I was looking at it like, okay, he healed me from the mama, daddy issues and my own selfish, fleshly ways of how I was looking at their mistakes as if they could be God themselves. He healed me from that portion. He healed me from being broken from nobody reaching out to help me when I was down low and all this stuff and speaking back at people through what they ain't even ever got to hear because I was calling out to God and saying all the little bitterness to him and saying like, because forget them and they ain't do this and I don't care about. I needed some healing. It was toxic. It was giving so toxic. Oh, God. So they ain't never even get to hear that portion of me talking about them to God. But God heard it. <laughs> but that was healing, too. And I didn't know that one day he was going to be talking about me to me about how I was talking about them to him, but I was missing the blind spot of how everything I was saying about them was my projection towards what I had did towards my relationship with him when I went out and did not seek wise counsel to say, Lord, should I be going back to these people to, to go show them how I'm healed now or just being back in their space just because I feel like I'm ready? And so what that end up being is, <laughs> give it a God, <laughs> give it a God, have me on that prayer, I sleep good at night, okay? This, I'm trying to tell you, your girl be, <laughs> but a whole little vibe, a whole little party, <laughs> hashtag child like CC, worship on banger mode, like, boom, boom, boom. God was like, get in there, get in there, get in there, yes, I got you, here now. Said he knocking down the obstacles. Once your girl gets started in worship, I'll be ready to go, 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 go. Said anything was possible, but look, I had to be on the right field. <laughs> which is truth, which is Jesus, which is transformation, which is a renewed mind, which is obedience, which is giving the isolation that's mandatory to sit in the rescue to see what's next without you running back. So... I'm really tired of speaking. <laughs> so I feel like I, I gave it to you because I feel like I just birthed the baby. Whoever that's for, that's for. I wanted to give you some joy, but the enemy keep hating on me. I hope I gave you joy the way that I gave it to you. Because mm -hmm. it's a big message. It's a big word. And I guess we're going to do it in segments because I ain't trying to stay on here all day. But I love you enough to tell you that. Go back and get the other part of this live because this one and this one is connected. And so you need both. And you get your word because you need your word to sustain. Mm -hmm. And repent. I repent daily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I rebuke Hermes spells. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, we, you know, 
Fast they be given everlasting Jesus Christ Holy glorify Holy So I fear God mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you they needed to hear that part Don't do no bidding with the devil That's it Yeah Don't do no bidding with the devil Lead confusion I love y'all. <laughs> y'all know when you doing poetry and they get that little awkward silence for a second, it was just like. Class ended. Bye. Love y'all.